All right, the more you're able to see structure in the various expressions, remember expressions is when there's not an equal sign, that you deal with, the easier it will be to manipulate complex expressions. We're going to work with structure throughout the course. We can now look at some larger structural issues that include equivalency. Equivalency is when you talk about what is equal. So consider this somewhat complex expression, x times x plus 4 plus 2 times x plus 4. So write an equivalent trinomial expression and then test the equivalency with the value of x equals 1. So we're going to have our original of x times x plus 4 plus 2 times x plus 4. So what we need to do first is the distributive property. So x times 4 is, sorry, x times x is x squared. And now x times 4 is 4x. So it becomes x squared plus 4x plus 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times 4 is 8. We need to combine our like terms. So it becomes x squared plus 6x plus 8. This is our equivalent expression for the original one. So now we're going to look at the test. So let's test x equals 1. So it's going to be, we're going to use our original equation first. So 1 times 1 plus 4 plus 2 times 1 plus 4. So 1 times 5 plus 2 times 5 becomes 5 plus 10, which is 15. And we need to test the equivalency to see if I plug 1 in for x on the new equation, if the same thing happens. So 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 8. So I have 1 plus 6 plus 8. 7 plus 8 equals 15. So yes, our equivalency works because both equations or expressions equal 15. So now we need to write an equivalent expression that is in the form of a product of two binomials. Also test the equivalency with x equals 1. So what I'm going to look at is I have the um, original equation up above, or expression up above, where I have x plus 4 and x plus 4. If you notice, x plus 4 is being multiplied twice. So really what we're going to do is we're going to find what is it being multiplied by. You'll notice that I have an x and a positive 2 so that x and a positive 2 becomes the other binomial expression. So what they really did is they split it up. Um, so it was x times x plus 4 and 2 times x plus 4, and you would get the same thing by having that binomial. So what it really is is factoring from this equation is the same thing as or that expression is the same as that expression, which is also the same as this expression. All of those expressions are equivalent to each other. So we're going to test with um, x equals 1. Um, if we test with x equals 1, I'm going to have 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 4. Well, 1 plus 2 is... Sorry, 1 plus 2 is 3 and 1 plus 4 is 5, multiply those, and you get 15, which it is an equivalent expression. So which type of equivalent expression we might need would depend on the context of what we are trying to do with the math. For now, we want to get practice with writing various expressions in, a, in an equivalent form and begin being able to test that equivalency. So you have seen three different forms. You have seen the factored form. You have seen the somewhat complex form, and you have seen the simplified form. Those are all equivalent expressions. So consider the expression x plus 4 times x minus 5 plus x plus 4 times x minus 2. Write an equivalent expression that is in the form of the product of two binomials. Test the equivalency with the value of x. Show your test. So we need to find what is the same between the two. Well, I noticed that I have x plus 4 and I have x plus 4. So x plus 4 is the same between the two, so that's going to be our first binomial. The second binomial that we have to figure out is by 
seeing the x minus 5 plus x minus 2. So we have x minus 5 plus x minus 2. So now we need to simplify everything inside the right-hand um, binomial. So I have x plus 4 still as our original binomial. And our second binomial, well, I have x plus x, which is 2x. And then I have negative 5 plus negative 2 becomes negative 7. So that is our second binomial. Those are our two binomials. And now we're going to do the equivalency with a value of x. So let's check our first equation. Um, or, or sorry, our first equivalent expression. And I'm going to put 1 in for x. So it's going to be 1 plus 4 times 1 minus 5 plus 1 plus 4 times 1 minus 2. So 1 plus 4 is 5. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, plus 1 plus 4 is 5, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So I now have negative 20 plus negative 5, so it equals negative 25. If I plug that in over here um, with our new binomial, I'm going to have 1 plus 4 times 2 times 1 minus 7. So I have 5 times 2 times 1 is 2, 2 minus 5, 7 is negative 5, which equals negative 25. They are equivalent expressions because they both equal negative 25. So which of the following is equivalent to the expression x minus 3 times 2x plus 7 minus x minus 3 times x minus 4? Again, you look to see what is the same in both of them. x minus 3 is the same in both of them. So Number 1 has x minus 3, so does number 2, but number 3 does not, and neither does number 4. Then we need to find, okay, so if I have 2x plus 7, and I'm subtracting x minus 4 from that. You remember from previous lessons that that negative on the outside is the same thing as distributing a negative 1. So it becomes 2x plus 7 minus 1x plus 4. Then you combine your like terms. So 2x minus 1x is 1x, and 7 plus 4 is 11. So that means that number 2 is the equivalent expression. Strangely enough, this type of manipulation where there is a common binomial multiplying two other terms is frequent enough that it is also a good skill to become fluent in. Get some additional practice in the next exercise. Be careful when subtraction is involved, so see the last exercise. So we need to look at what is the same. Well, x plus 5 is the same. Then we need to see what else is there. Well, I have an x and a plus 7. So there's your second binomial. Next one, what is the same? x minus 2 is the same. And then we need to see what is there left over. So I have 3x and negative 4. So 3x minus 4 is your second binomial. Then we see what is the same. Well, I still have an x plus 4. But then you got to figure out what else is there going on. There's an understood times 1 that can go there. So I have negative 2x and positive 1 as my second binomial. Letter D, what is the same? Well, I have x plus 3 is the same. But then we have to somehow make this binomial combine with this binomial. You will notice that in front of the x plus 9, it's a plus sign. So it's x minus 6 plus x plus 9. So I have my x plus 3 as the original bio binomial. Then I have 2x plus 3 because negative 6 and 9 makes positive 3. And the last one, what is the same? Is x minus 4. 
You will notice that in front of the x plus 6, we have a minus sign. What that means is there's an understood negative 1, so we have to distribute that negative 1. So I have the 2x plus 1 from here. And now negative 1 times x is negative 1x, and negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. So x minus 4 times x minus 5, because 2x and negative 1x is 1x and positive 1 and negative 6 makes negative 5. Remember that we want to always look for mindful manipulations in order to help us solve our problems. Sometimes we won't know whether these manipulations will pay dividends, but as long as we know we are making manipulations that retain equivalency, then they are worth a try. Our last exercise, the binomial 4n plus 1 is equivalent to 7 for some value of n. What is the value of the expression shown below for the same value of n? Do not solve for n in this problem. Use mindful manipulations and look for structure to help solve the problem. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. I see that I have 4n plus 1. That is the same in both of them. And then I have 3n plus 1 plus n plus 2. So 3n plus 1 plus n plus 2. And now I have 4n plus 3. So using mindful manipulation, we need to figure out how do we get the 4n plus 3 to 4n plus 1. Well, the way that you get there is by adding 2. So now you take the original equation from up above which was, or sorry, original expression, 4n plus 1. And now instead of 4n plus 3, it's going to be 4n plus 1 plus 2. Remember that, we remember from up above that 4n is equal to 7. So now we have 7 instead of 4n plus 1. And inside this next parenthesis, it's 7, that 7 is in place of the 4n plus 1, but then we also are adding 2. Keep in mind that every time we have made a new row, that is equal to the row up above. So now we have 7 times 9, which equals 63. So you did some mindful manipulation from the last um, section to help with the new section.